Ugh. In this box is my new backpack. I am very excited for this because my last backpack is great, but I'm starting to outgrow it. It was pretty small. Uh, I didn't really need anything that big because I only had the camera and one lens. Now I've got, I've got the Gorillapod, I've got my microphone, I've got a second lens, and my laptop. Really that's the biggest thing about this backpack is I needed it for the laptop case. I've got a big trip coming up with my dad. It's gonna be great for creating content, but I need a good bag to carry everything in. I also got an extra battery. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, pocket here. Looks like the laptop sleeve, possibly. I don't know. It's got a place where you can hold your tripod underneath on the bottom there. It's got some buckles. Tripod holder on the side here and on this side here. So you can put tripods, water bottles, anything like that in there. Buckles that strap around your chest and around your waist. The one around your waist, you keep that buckled, spin it around. It's not adjusted, but you can hold it out in front of you like that and you actually unzip the part that presses against your back here and that is where you store your lenses and camera and stuff. Little bag in there so you can see this whole part in here is empty. My dog is digging for China. Anyway, can I help you, Rue? You want to see my other dog? Oh. Will this get me more views on YouTube? Let's get back to the bag. Oh, this is nice. So this is like a, a rain case that'll like go over the backpack. So if it rains, it'll repel water. Okay. So do I have to have this on? Okay. I'm probably gonna do a full review of this backpack after our trip, since we'll be hiking around with this. I'll actually make a video dedicated to talking about how good this actually is. Because right now, I mean, sure, it seems great, but how's it gonna feel after three hours of hiking? One week later. I got this backpack for my spring break trip with my dad. And right before I filmed some stuff uh, unboxing it and just initial impressions, and after about a week of using it and uh, traveling with it, hiking around in the forest with it, uh, I have to say, I love it. It's fantastic. It's got plenty of storage space for what I need, and it's got plenty of room for me to expand as well. So to start off, I mean, I'll tell you what I've got in here. Um, the main pocket has a laptop, a laptop pocket. So I was able to put my laptop in there for editing. Uh, I've got a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So that fit in there with room to spare, which was great, which means I can edit on the go. So I've got this flash. I also have uh, my microphone in there usually and my Gorillapod, which I'm using right now to film. So plenty of room in there. There's also a front pocket that I have a little whiteboard in. If I'm doing shots and I need to write down take one or what shot it is, I'll just hold that in front of the camera and quickly slide it back in there. I have one on the side and then there's another side pocket that's great for like water bottles and stuff. Uh, I just used both of the side pockets for water bottles when we were hiking because I didn't want to bring a tripod. I thought, I thought it would be too much uh, weight and I didn't want to pack that heavy. The whole back of the backpack here is really well padded. Uh, so it didn't really get uh, uncomfortable when I was wearing it. So in here I've got stuff for the flash. I've got the color gels, transmitter, and receiver. All that <coughs> zips up in this little pocket and gets stuck in one of the side pocket here. I've got my lav mic and audio recorder, and I've also got my battery charger for the camera. In addition to that, I've got 85 millimeter lens with the lens hood on, 50 millimeter lens with the lens hood on, 
I'm filming right now with my 18-55 to 55 Canon kit lens. That's usually in here as well. And then I also have the pocket for the camera body. So all of that fits in here with a little bit of room to spare. I have a zipper pouch here where I keep my camera strap and step up rings to use the ND filter with. So if I'm using the ND filter on this lens or another smaller lens, I can still attach it because it's a bigger filter. And then the waist straps actually have pockets on them so I can fit extra batteries in here. So if I'm shooting, uh, I run out of batteries, I can quickly just access it right there. I don't have to take the backpack off or anything. I can just switch out the batteries and keep going. And I mean, overall, this is just a really well-made backpack. I, I think it's great for beginners who don't have a lot of gear yet. I think it's great for even professionals who are maybe looking to pack a little bit lighter or travel or hike anything. This is, I think, one of the best all-around backpacks I've seen and that I've used. Do, would I recommend this backpack? Absolutely. Uh, I think it's a fantastically made product. It's from newer, newer, newer. I don't, I don't know how you say it. I'll put the name up on the screen here and then I'll also link the product in the description there. So if you wanna get it for yourself, uh, you can go over and find it on Amazon. It's a really reasonable price, I think, because you know, backpacks can get pretty expensive. Any sort of camera gear can get expensive, but for the price that this is listed at, I think it was around $60, but I'm not too sure off the top of my head. I mean, it's fantastic. It's definitely worth it. It's built to last. It's really good, thick material, and it's just, I mean, it's not uncomfortable. It fits really well. All the straps are adjustable. They're really easy to adjust, uh, so you don't have to struggle with that. If you found this video helpful or you want to see more like it, let me know in the comments or something. Uh, let me know what you think, what your favorite backpack is, and don't forget to check that out in the description if you want one for yourself. And until next time, ah, I don't know. I'll see you next time.